What's up guys, welcome back to the Educated Barfly. Today we're gonna to be making tea punch. Now, although it is pronounced T-I and everyone would wanna say Thai, it's actually pronounced tea punch. And uh, the T is in reference to the word, French word petite. It's like the Creole version of the word petite in French meaning small. So this actually means small rum punch. Um, tea punch. So it was invented some, we don't know when it was invented. It is the national drink of the French island of Martinique and Guadalupe. Uh, and what we do know is that it was first printed in 1890 uh, travel writer's account of his uh, years in Martinique called Two Years in the West Indies. By, and his name was Lafsadio Hearn. And that's all I know about it. There's a lot of different ways that this is served. I've read a lot about them. I've never been to Martinique, so I'm not a authority. I'm not going to talk about it here. But I will do a little bit more of a deeper dive in the show notes on the history. Uh, this drink's pretty simple. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to just cut a... Well, not like that, but we are going to cut a small disc of lime. And you want to make sure to not get too much of the pith. And we're just going to zest that into our glass and toss it in. And then we're going to take some cane syrup, which is not the same as Demerara syrup or Turbinado syrup. This is actually boiled down cane sugar. And it is a different flavor profile and it is made in Martinique. We're going to do one teaspoon of cane syrup and then two ounces of Room Agricole. Today we're doing Room Clement, which is also a product of Martinique. Into a glass. Careful not to spill too much. Then we're going to just take our ice and make sure that it's all crushed up. I like to use, as you guys know, I like to use pebble ice, but you guys can use crushed ice or shaved ice if you want to. But personally, I like the way that the pebble ice is in the glass. And we are going to add it to our drink, fill it up part way. We're going to take our swizzle stick. This is a swizzle stick. There is a uh, cocktail tutorial that I did on the Queen's Park swizzle that mentions everything about the swizzle stick. You should go watch it. I'll uh, link it up above um, if you want to know what swizzle sticks are all about. And we're just going to give this a light swizzle. Sort of incorporate the ingredients. There you go. And then we're just going to top it up with our pebble ice, which we're nearing the end of the bag, so we're getting like the bigger pebbles now. I should have busted out a, sh you know what? I'm going to bust out a straw for this one because uh, if I can even find one. If I can find one in my disorganized drawer of hell. Bum, 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 the disorganized drawer of hell. No, I can't find one. Well, we're just going to have to, we're just going to have to uh, tipple it up. But here you go. There's the tea punch. Uh, let's take a sip. Not unlike an island old fashioned, by the way. Well, obviously, you are going to get a little bit of lime, a lot of the sort of grassy flavor that is imparted by room agricole. You get this like sort of kind of, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but just sort of this grassy sort of hay-like flavor to it. Um, and then uh, obviously sweetened by a little bit of sugar. There you have it, my friends, tea punch.